Um, I know you've seen such a fun, bold, crazy side of me, but there is a whole other side of me that like, nobody knows about yeah. and a lot of stuff that I had to go through and still am going through right now. Um, there's some stuff going on back home, um, you know, that it's like really hard to make sure about. But this week actually, my mom was released from federal prison. <sighs> Having to see someone you love so much be stuck in a place where you don't want to be and like like going through all of that stuff and you just want to like take them out of it like my mom might be really messed up but like that woman loves me so much and like no matter what she does I love her unconditionally I know it's not easy to talk about and I just want you to know like, I'm not judging that at all Thank you. you've been able to turn what most people wouldn't be able to turn into positive or optimistic situation. Mm -hmm. So it takes a pretty special person to be able to do that. It feels really good to get that off my chest after having that series of a conversation and just seeing how endearing he was. I know that he has feelings for me and I know he cares about me. And so it feels really good. It's frustrating watching him going out of his way to make moments with other people that aren't you, and it's like, am I just chopped liver? Like, why am I sitting here still? It's difficult because I genuinely thought I was gonna get a one-on-one this week, and I keep getting group date after group date. It gives me anxiety because I don't wanna have to talk over people or just like do something shocking for attention, so it's frustrating. He's taken time to point out to each of you sitting here that like you're special. I've gotten none of that. You know, like, I went up there and I had to talk to him about something I didn't want to talk to him about, and I felt really good about it. And at the end of the day, you can't make excuses. You just have to act. Because if not, it's not going to be good. I'll just wait patiently. Eventually, possibly, I'll talk to him. I spent over half my night trying to encourage Courtney to talk to Colton, and she did nothing but sit there. And I had a really good conversation with Colton earlier, so I want to talk to him again, because I was just really happy to get that reaction from him, and it made me just like him even more. <sighs> I've just been reflecting about everything, yeah. and I've been thinking about, you know, how you reacted to what I told you, yeah. and it felt really good. It's nice to, like, see that side of you. Yeah. And it shows me that you don't turn your back on family. Yeah, that's so. exactly what I wanted to show you. Yeah. Has everyone here chatted now? No, of course not. Mm -hmm. People are already having double time, so you should yeah. get up here. There's that double right. time. Demi. Yeah, so go. Go. Just go up there. If you leave tonight and you don't get time with him, that's not You're going to regret time. it. Yeah. Go. I'm so annoyed. Do it. You can do this. <laughs> You got this. Not only was a lot of the reason why I didn't talk to Colton because of Demi, but literally three to four minutes after I'm telling her that I'm upset that I hadn't talked to Colton yet, she's upstairs talking to Colton again. Knock, 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 knock. Hi, guys. Do you have company? No. I was told that you were up here talking to Colin. Yeah, I know. I just came up here and told him thank you for our conversation that we had. And that was it. I don't understand that. What don't you understand? I was open about being upset about not having time mm -hmm. with Colin. And, you know, you acted like you were genuinely concerned and tried and to was, motivate and me. And I told you for like 30 to and 45 minutes five, to go. Do something about Trust it. Trust me, I tried. Trust me, I tried. You have no idea what's going on with me. You have no idea what's going on with me. You have no idea what I needed to talk to him about. Instead of you so trying to get that time with him, you sat there and you just... And deciding what you needed to say was more important. I didn't even think twice about you in our conversation we just had because I wanted to get thing. a I feel like sometimes you don't think. Because I'm not here for all of the girls. I'm here for Colton. How old are you again? Oh, stop it. 
I just feel like sometimes your actions and behavior is just kind of like solidify a maturity level. And it's just like someone with a little more maturity would kind of take those things into consideration. You know, you have the right to feel that way. And I have the right to not care because you've been really rude to me in this whole entire conversation. So I'm over you. You think you've never been rude? You think your actions aren't rude? You think the words that you say aren't rude? I let them pass because I'm just not gonna go there with you. Because I was raised <laughs> to respect people and carry myself with class and... Well, thank you for letting me know how you feel. Wish we had more respect for one another. Courtney is very intimidated by my confidence. I know that I have established a serious connection with Colton and we're building on our relationship. Courtney told me that she was raised as class and insinuated that I wasn't, but it's like, Courtney puts the ass in class. Well, it's that time of the night. Tonight has been great and it has allowed me to continue to grow my relationships with each and every one of you. But tonight, this rose is going to someone who has shown me a completely different side of themselves. Demi, <laughs> will you accept this rose? Of course. Here. Yeah. Oh. That was amazing. Thank you. My heart. Oh. All right, well, I got to get out of here. I want to say one last thank you to all of you. You're amazing. I think it sent a huge message out to my haters getting the rose tonight because they tried to act like what I was doing wasn't the right approach and that, you know, Colton wasn't gonna like that or whatever. And it just really shut them all up. I was really scared to talk to him about what I had to talk to him about tonight. And so I'm really glad that he appreciated it. I feel like it was a really big step for us and it feels good. I didn't expect this to happen at all, but like, I'm really glad that it worked out. I'm really glad. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he realizes, like, the one person he didn't talk to, and I'm sure he realizes that he, he talked to Demi twice. Yeah. This is what Cloud Nine feels like right now. Like, it feels really, really good. <laughs> it's like, at this point, I just feel like I should just go home, like, there's no point in waiting. <laughs>